Nope. Mm -mm. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my coquito recipe. So if you don't know what coquito is, it's basically a Puerto Rican eggnog. That's like the best way to describe it. I never had eggnog before, so I don't even know. But I hear a lot of people say it's like eggnog. Christmas is literally right around the corner and this is when we usually start making it. Sometimes we make it for like Thanksgiving, but me and my family, we more so make it around Christmas time. I'm getting in that mood to make some coquito. So yeah, I just wanted to share my recipe recipe with you guys show y'all how I make it and before we get started I just want to make a quick disclaimer everybody has their own recipe there's so many different versions this is just my way it's very very simple some people put eggs in there some people add like almond extract I know I just want to put that out there so let's get started very very easy guys if y'all want to try to make this it's super easy and it's so delicious basically all you need is a big old bowl to mix it up get a little whisk a measuring cup, a can opener. Yeah, that's basically all you need. So to begin, what we need to do is boil two cups of water and put some cinnamon sticks to boil. cinnamon sticks just finished boiling i got my measuring cup and my strainer because you want to boil it down to reduce it to one cup and i'm just using a strainer because i just don't want any little cinnamon pieces that maybe like broke off while boiling to go into our mixture because you don't want to be choking on chunks of cinnamon okay so i got my cinnamon water right here oh it smells so good oh my god it's crazy how boiling something literally makes the smell come out so much stronger so i'm just gonna strain Carefully, my like is gonna spill. Yep, and it's spilling. Wow. <laughs> For me, trying to be aesthetically cute, and I'm spilling it everywhere. It's all fine. No worries. I knew that was gonna happen. Like every single time I try to pour something, that always happens. So you see how nice and dark our water is. This is the color that you want it to be. This is how you know you boiled your cinnamon sticks long enough. We got about a cup here. We had a little bit more than a cup, but that's fine. We just need a cup. Our cinnamon sticks are still in here. I'm gonna leave them in here. I like to use it for like decoration purposes. So I'll just put like the whole cooked cinnamon in the bottle. So when we're done making the coquito, I like to put it in cute little bottles like this to store it in the fridge. So I just think it's cute to like save the cinnamon sticks and put them in the bottle just to make it look pretty, you know. You don't have to, but I just feel like it makes it look better. And there's nothing wrong with letting the cinnamon stick sit in here and infuse even more. The more cinnamon, the better. I love cinnamon. So yeah, I'm saving my cinnamon sticks for the end to put in the bottle once we already have our mixture. So we're just gonna start off with putting our cup of cinnamon water in our bowl. Okay, so here's all our cans. This is very, very easy. Once you see how easy this is, literally anybody can make it, I feel like. So here's all our cans. Got our cinnamon water. Then we're gonna start off with two cans of coconut milk. I'm gonna use a spoon to open my cans because I got nails on. What coquito is, is basically just coconut and milk and cinnamon. Literally, that's all it is. Just like five different versions. And I just like to stir in between every single step just to make sure that everything is really nice and incorporated. Now we're gonna do two cans of evaporated milk. And if you wanna make a smaller batch, you could literally just cut this recipe in half. So instead of doing two cans of everything, you can just do one if it's just like you in a small group. Dang, this is shake well. Y'all, I need to shake my cans before I open them. Why do I keep forgetting? Whatever, it's all good. I'm gonna shake this one. <laughs> Give it a little mix again. Now for the very, very sweet part, you're gonna add sweet and condensed milk. So this is super thick, so this is what we gotta really stir in super well. 
for this be very careful because you gotta actually like scrape this out if you don't know sweetened condensed milk is super super thick i'm not gonna lie sweetened condensed milk kind of like grosses me out because it's like look how thick that is like the consistency is just like ugh. But this is what makes it sweet. This is what makes it good. Scrape every single inch, get it all. Since this is so thick, I'm gonna stir it in between each can. You wanna really make sure everything is stirred in very, very well. You could actually do this in a blender if you want. Ew, look at this. Tell me I don't look disgusting. <laughs> Why does it remind me of that one girl? Y'all have seen that one girl on MasterChef? Was it a little girl or was it a little boy? I don't know who it was, but they was going crazy mixing. That's what I feel like right now. I think that's good. This next step is optional. I'm going to add one can of cream of coconut. Right now, it has like a light sweet flavor. Just to give it a little bit more flavor, I like to add cream of coconut. Ew, look at how that looks inside. I'm really like so grossed out by like canned stuff. Y'all, it's literally like, Okay, that was very disturbing. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why that was so chunky. Maybe I should have freaking shaken the can. That's why. Oh my god, why do I keep forgetting? Now I gotta do extra work. And I like adding the cream of coconut also because I feel like it helps thicken it up. I don't like my coquitos to be like super watery. You want it to be nice and thick and creamy. Yeah, I feel like that definitely helps. Okay, that looked good. So if you want, you could definitely stop right here and leave it if you want a virgin coquito. But come on now, you really thought I was going I don't roll like that, okay? My family, we always use Bacardi had this realization today when I was in a liquor store and getting Bacardi. Our whole lives, we've been using the clear Bacardi. And I was looking at the label today and I was like, why does it say it's from Cuba? Like I had no idea that we've been using Cuban Bacardi our whole life. Like nothing against my Cubans out there, but Coquito is a Puerto Rican drink. Like, hello, we need to be authentic to Puerto Rico. So I'm like, how how has this been happening? So I literally called my mom and I was like, mom, did you notice? She's like, yeah, why do we do that? I guess we just always picked whatever was like the cheapest. That tradition right there stops here. I'm not carrying on with that tradition. We're not using Cuban rum, hello. This is so Bacardi and it's a gold rum, a batch this size. My mom, she would typically add three to four cups, which is insane to me. It's, that's so strong. I don't I don't like my coquito that strong. I like to sip on it. Sometimes I even like to make it virgin. You want a virgin coquito, but you know, I don't roll like that, okay? I'm gonna be adding only one cup. I'm looking at that, I feel like one cup is a lot, bro. And I can't believe my mom usually adds like three to four. Like, that's crazy. Here we are, we're gonna add our Bacardi right now. Give it a little bit of spice. And that's basically it guys. Everything is literally up to you. If you want it sweeter, you can add more cream of coconut. You can add so many things. You can really make this your own. I feel like I don't even taste the Bacardi. That's so good though. Mmm. Yes. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more guys. Hold on. Maybe I'll do two cups. I'll do half a cup first. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. You can always add, but you can't take away half a cup more and see how that tastes. Taste test number two. Yeah. I think that is perfect. I'm not gonna add no more. But I definitely taste a little hint of Bacardi now. Cause at first I couldn't taste that at all. So that's basically it guys. Y'all seen how simple and easy that was? The last step is just to chill it in the refrigerator. I feel like you should chill this for at least 30 minutes to an hour before serving so it's nice and cold. I'm gonna just transfer my mixture over to this cute little glass and put it in the fridge. And I did it for you to my cinnamon sticks. I'm about to add a couple to my glass right now. I'll do two. I lied, I'll do three. I feel like this is about to spoil y'all. I have such freaking bad luck. Okay, let me just hear fully. Nope, mm-mm, absolutely not. Ay Dios mio. Okay, I'm gonna try to pour it in here first since this has a little spout and then pour it into there because, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally cannot believe the way that I'm struggling right now. This is so embarrassing. Here we go. You know what? Why didn't I just think of this? Hello? Yeah, that would have been smarter. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, so I have it in my bottle. Here it is. It looks so cute. You can, like, store it in, like, little jugs like this. Like I said, you can find these at, like, Walmart or Target. Refrigerate it for, like I said, at least 30 minutes to an hour. But preferably, like, overnight or something because Coquito is supposed to be cold. I'm pop this in the fridge for about 30 minutes just so that I could come back and do a little taste test with you guys. So it's been about 30 minutes or so. It's not as cold as I would like it to be, but like Coquito is best when it's served very, very chilled. But it'll have to do. Put it in my cute little glass and I just put a little dusting of cinnamon on top for more cinnamon flavor. Some people put cinnamon like in the actual mixture, but I like to do cinnamon on top of the actual drink. My fiance loves Coquito. He gonna be my taste tester. Me specifically, I like my version Coquito. This does have I know. Bacardi in it, but you know, I don't even like a lot of liquor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very, very light. I think you're gonna like that's it. That's valid, that's valid. I've been asking her to make me some more Coquito for the past year, since after Christmas. To me, Coquito is special. This is what makes it so special this time of year. I refuse to like make it an average everyday thing. I want it to stay not, special. I want it bruh, to stay like I just wanted uh, it for my birthday, man. Well, you gonna have to wait until every Christmas that's because no that's what it's for. It is for Christmas. Tradition. That's how we do it. Cheers. Cheers, mama. Mmm. That's so. This that's is what, literally bro, perfect. Bro, that's like at bro. When it's cold, it's even better. Yeah. This is about to go stupid. I but do you taste how like it's like a perfect balance of everything? Like it's perfect so balance. It's not too strong. Yeah, it's not strong at all. I actually really that like you that. Get a hint of it. Yeah. Right? No, I actually really like that. I actually don't mind the liquor in it. I only used one and a half cups. My mom usually puts like three to four cups. Yeah, she's tweaking. <laughs> I feel like this is perfectly balanced. It's so good. It's nice and creamy. Yeah. And it's delicious. Fire. Definitely fire. You snap, baby. Thank you very much. Only thing I would say. Let's make more of it. You can literally do any flavor you want. People do Nutella, cookies and cream, mm -hmm. chocolate, pistachio. Like you can literally add any flavor you want to your coquito and make it your own. Like I said. So yeah, this is just a simple traditional coquito. I actually feel bad for you guys because y'all can't <laughs> try it right now. Like I would be extremely envious of her and I if I was on the other side of the But now y'all can make it though. Now y'all yeah. can make it at home. Try out this recipe. Let me know what y'all think. Thank you for taste testing with You're me. You're welcome, baby. Bye. Love you. I love you. <laughs> Take your cookie though with you. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you guys. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed. As you can see, I've been being very consistent on my channel lately. I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. I'm trying to do a good mix of all types of videos. Cooking videos, beauty videos, vlogging. I'm going to do it all on this channel, okay? So happy holidays. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Been questioning us, do you really try? But I'm stuck to you like glue, I don't know why What everything that I survived I'm just trying to help you understand how much I sacrificed